Hello, my name is Grady Edwards and I'm a Digital Integration Specialist with Horry County Schools. Today we'll be exploring or getting started with Google Docs. Google Docs is an app found within your Google Drive that looks very similar to Microsoft Word or Pages. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. To get started with Google Docs, simply go to the top left hand corner of your screen within Google Drive. You'll see there a blue new button. Click that button to see your Google Apps, your available Google Apps. You'll see Google Docs should be the first one and you have the option to choose a blank document or a template which you may edit. For this tutorial we'll be choosing a blank document. Once you've selected a blank document, go ahead and give it a title. Now again, as mentioned earlier, you see that Google Docs is very similar to Microsoft Word and Pages. This is a program you'll use to type most often. To get started, let's take a look at the toolbar. And again, you'll see a lot of the same options you might find in Microsoft Word. You're here able to change the font, the font size, bold, italic, underline, or change the color of your text. An example of how to do this can be found here. You'll notice if I highlight the text, scroll over, it'll change the color for me. You can also align or center your text, whatever you choose. You can create a list, bullet points. There's various things you can do in regards to spacing, graphing, and charting. In addition to these applications, you can also insert hyperlinks by clicking the Insert Link button here. You'll highlight the text, insert link, insert the link of your choice. You can also make a copy Download as, PDF, Microsoft Word. Your editing features are similar, very similar to what is offered in the toolbar. You can insert images, links, equations, drawing, charts, tables here, and you can choose the size of your table right here, and it'll provide it right there for you. In addition, you can choose special characters and header and footer just like you can in Microsoft Word. You can also include add-ons that might help you within your Google Doc. Once you've got your Google Doc the way you'd like it, come over here and you may share it with other people. You can either get a shareable link which can be posted into Google Classroom or you can simply uh, choose the emails of where you want it to be sent. You can choose your document to be view only, comment only, or full editing rights to whoever you send it to. I hope this helps you getting started with Google Docs. I'd like to thank you for watching this tutorial on Google Docs. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.